Hey guys, welcome back to the news desk here on VGLosers.com, part of the Pop Culture Network. Don't forget, you can check out the Video Game Losers show every Monday on VideoGameLosers.com, which is also part of the Pop Culture Network. You may be wondering, why do we have one website called VGLosers.com that covers all sorts of video game stuff, and then we have the VG Losers show, the Video Game Losers show at VideoGameLosers.com. Well, the reason is, uh, we just like buying URLs. We just like collecting them and having a bunch of them. So if you just want to see the show, just go to VideoGameLosers.com. If you want to get more content like this news desk, you can go to VGLosers.com because URLs are fun to have. All right, guys. Here we're going to talk about some of the top gaming stories this week. First up, PlayStation Vita has been torn down, and it appears that the modular design will make it easy to repair and replace parts. Now, as someone who works in a store where we fix game systems and handheld consoles, I can tell you that this is fantastic news. Uh, this will bring down the price of your repairs quite a bit, because a lot of times it's so aggravating getting all the little pieces together. The uh, DS Lite, 3DS are... Uh, pretty big offenders when it comes to tearing down systems and putting them back together. All right, next up, some rare Skylanders sold on eBay for $1,000. That's right, $1,000. Someone had a collection of gold and silver Skylanders that are hard to find, and they had them in one complete auction. They said that the uh, backer boards were 100% crisp and clean, no marks, no bends of any kind. So he was selling them there, and they went, they sold, uh, as far as I know, they sold at a European price that, uh, you know, roughly in U.S. dollars makes it just over 1000 Who would pay that, and why? I don't know. But good for Skylanders. That means there is definitely a crowd out there big into the game. And I'm, be I'm getting a copy this weekend. Yay! So I can finally check it out for myself. The only question is, do I want it on the 3DS or do I want it on the PS3? Hmm. All right. Next up. We've been talking about Double Fine Adventure for quite a while. They needed a million dollars. Yeah, was it a million dollars? No, that's not a million. Well... Whatever they need, they need $400,000. That was it. $400,000 is what they needed. They raised a million, and people said that was crazy. How can you raise a million dollars for a game that you only need $400,000 for? Well, guess what? Now it's $2 million. So you buy this game right now, we're going to throw in another million dollars of funding for, well, for a million dollars. But So now there are $2 million funding for this game, and it uh, looks like this is going to be the most kick-ass point-and-click adventure in the history of all mankind. Sony has filed patents for a new camera to hook up to their systems. This one is uh, apparently much like the Kinect. It can look at 3D space and track your motion within, which is pretty much what the Kinect does. So it looks like they're doing that as well. However, their patent was actually filed months and months and months ago. So it seems like it was something they've been working on for quite a while. They just weren't ready to bring it to hardware yet. But then, of course, Kinect comes out. It's a big thing. So now it looks like they're pushing a little bit harder to get theirs out as well. But it seems like it was something that's been in the works for quite a while. Uh, the other big thing, of course, is that they're working on a backwards compatibility adapter. Looks like a device that you will plug into your PS3, uh, those that are not PS2 backwards compatible, and it might be able to serve with some sort of PS2 functionality. Might be able to give it back to the system so that you can put those PS2 discs into your PS3, and there you go. You're going to be able to get that back. Can uh, Ca Capcom, Namco, and Sega are all teaming up, it seems, for a 3DS game. Now, there's no word yet on what exactly it is. Traditionally, when these type of things come together, they tend to be fighting games. You get, uh, you know, Capcom versus whatever uh, different systems. Now, for whatever reason, um, Sega being thrown into the mix, I mean, I don't know, are we going to get uh, Sonic and Tails versus um, Street Fighter? I mean, I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see what happens. But it certainly is an interesting development. Uh, no word yet on what exactly it is. Report out of Japan says that Nintendo is now working on um, getting content, uh, streaming content compatibility onto the Wii U. As it turns out, now on the Wii, you can get Hulu Plus, you can get Netflix, uh, you can get Netflix on the 3DS, 
Uh, it looks like they're working on all of that type of stuff coming to the Wii U. However, they may be adding additional channels. Of course, there's the um, internet channel on the Wii that can go out on the internet and pull up YouTube. YouTube work, seems to work really well on the Wii uh, streaming through as well as Netflix and other things like that. Looks like they're working on channels like that for the Wii, but they may be going out to some of the more non-traditional uh, internet-only type things, maybe things like uh, Crackle. Um, TV.com, things like that to try to get them working as well. That would be an interesting development, especially since those have a lot of free content unlike Hulu Plus, which you have to pay the extra money for. So, we'll just have to see what happens with that. Uh, let's see. Finally, um, PlayStation 4 is rumored to have AMD graphics. Now, I remember at one point in time when buying a computer made a big deal what time of graphics uh, card you were getting for it. Uh, you know, was it NVIDIA? Uh, you know, was it, you know, what, and people were fighting all the time and, and, you know, message boards, people freaking out and, and, uh, you know, having these big battles online. My question is, if the PlayStation 4, let's say it does have an AMD graphics chip, does that matter anymore? Are we still at the point where that's going to make a big deal? Or is it just pretty much like AMD got the contract, good for them? Uh, I want to hear what some of your thoughts on this because I'm having a hard time figuring out why. You know, is this still a big deal? Why are we talking about this? Uh, or is it just random news like, oh, IBM's making the processor, AMD's making the graphics chip. Woohoo! So, anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Don't forget, February 29th, we are less than a week away from Tron Day. And I know some of you guys are like, I don't care about Tron. Well, you know what? I don't care about you, all right? So suck it. Here's how it's going to work. February 29th, tweet. Go on message boards. Go on Facebook. Go on Google+. Plus, Go on, I don't know, LinkedIn, whatever, wherever you want to go, and just hashtag Tron Day. And just say something about Tron. Tron saved your life. Tron saved your mom. Uh, Tron's your true daddy. Uh, you know, whatever type of stuff you can come up with. And let's promote Tron. And, as it turns out, February 29th is the return of Voltron. Voltron Force on Nicktoons. If you're a fan of Voltron as well. Seems like a great day to talk about Voltron as well as Tron on Tron Day. And, if you got time, you can even sit down, read your original Tron novelization. Because, you know, they say the book is better than the movie. Uh, I don't know, I'm a little torn on this one. But hey, you can uh, go out and uh, knock yourself out with that as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.